Okay, so this example we're going to toss two coins, uh, and then we're going to roll a die. So we're going to look at what's the probability of getting two heads and then a three, right? So here's the first coin, we roll it. Here's the second coin, we ro we, we toss it, sorry, we toss it. Uh, and then there's a dice. Okay, oh, we got a three. I didn't get heads though, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll try again. Uh, roll, oh, I got a head there. Oh, I didn't get a head there, so I'm done. And then I roll the dice and I get a six. But I need to get head, and then head, and then I need to roll a three. Now, what's the probability of that happening? Head, head, then a three. And all three events have to happen, right? All, all three, all these three things have to happen, right? So our event is the toss two coins, roll the dice. We need to get two heads, then a three. What's the probability of that happening? So everyone, give it a go. Press pause on the video if you like and try to figure that out. Let me know when you've come up with something. That is correct, yeah. So the probability, the, with the first coin, the probability of getting ahead is a half. With the second coin, the probability of getting ahead is one half. And with the dice, the probability of getting a, 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 thir, a, a three is one out of six, right? So these are the three probabilities. And when we want, and they're all independent, independent events, which means that, you know, this being ahead doesn't change the outcome of this dice. They're all just independent, right? But the probability of those three things happening like that in a row is you actually just multiply them. It's pretty simple. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, good. And 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 6 is 24. So the answer is 1 out of 24, right? Now, I can't help being a math teacher and trying to explain this. And the reason is because there's actually 24 possible things that could happen. You could get ahead on this first one and ahead on this second one, but then you could get a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Uh, so it would look like uh, this. Good golly, am I doing this right? Head, head. Headed. So it could be head, head one, head, head two, head, head three, head, head four, blah, blah. But the, 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 the coins may not fall like that. It could be head, tail. You see what I mean? Head, tail, head, tail. Uh, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail. I'm going to have to pause. Will I? Uh, tail, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or it could be tail, head, tail, head, uh, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head. One, two, three, four, five, six, or it could be tail, 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 and so on. So you can see that there are lots of things that could go wrong when we're trying to get head, head, then the number three on the dice, right? There's a lot of things. Once you've added in two dice, that's even a lot more complicated now than the last time. We only had one coin and one dice. Now we've got two coins and one dice, and... Um, which is the one we're looking for? Head, head, then a three. That's that guy there. See that? But that's only one, one possible outcome out of, one outcome out of a possible, how many? Yes, there are 24 possible outcomes. My goodness, look, I have to write them all out. 24 possible outcomes. Look at them all there. Think about it. That's all the things that could happen. This is all the things that could happen when you, when you flip two heads. Uh, and then you roll a dice, right? And there's one success that we're looking for um, out of 24 possible uh, outcomes. And so it's one out of 24. Great stuff.